This is from Heart to Heart podcast number 24 and it's me, May Mustafa. Today's episode is a sequel to the last one, which is Notes from a Friend part 1. Now we are going to continue the quotes that I gathered while reading a book, which is Notes from a Friend. If you're interested, let's jump right in, but first, let me thank you if you are a regular listener for coming back. And if you are a new listener, thank you for choosing from Heart Heart Podcast to listen to. Now, let's get it started. Quote number one. Personal power means being persistent in taking action. Every time you do something, you learn from it and you find a way to do it better next time. That is amazing because now we know our personal power, which is consistency. If we continue to do something, we will learn how to do it better next time. We will figure things out. It's okay to mess up in the very beginning, but as you're committing, you will find a way. You will find those little secrets. You'll find those goofy ways to get around things and to do it in the best way you can. Don't expect yourself to be perfect, that is number one. Number two, don't expect yourself to know everything in the beginning, even though you start something and you continue to do it for, for a while, you still, you still have a long way to go to understand that thing and to do it in a complete way. Maybe it's not the perfect way. But as you're trying to improve things and to develop, you will be near perfect. And that is what matters. What matters is to have that openness to understand and have that openness to to learn from your mistakes even though you failed a couple of times. It's okay. Be a good fighter. And what a good fighter is, that person who's failed and who people called him a loser. But because he didn't quit and he continued to practice, he continued to do his best, he became a winner. And I want you to be a fighter. I want you to be a warrior because you are, because you deserve to have a better life. And in my perspective, to have a better life, that means to be okay even though you failed even though things are not going your way you're still patient enough to be an observer and to observe how can you do better how can you benefit from the situation that you are in how can you figure things out how can you come out of that situation as a winner, as a person who's more powerful, as a person who can be the best version of himself. Quote number two is, God's delays are not God's denials. Honestly, when I first read that, that gave me chills. How many times did we pray to God that to make specific things to happen for us. We prayed and prayed and prayed and those things didn't come. There is two options in my perspective. Why, when we pray, our prayings did not occur to us in the same time. First, because maybe that thing that we are praying for is not good for us. We just think that It's good for us because we desire that thing. But because God knows everything, He did not make that happen. It's for us, for our benefits. Number two, reason number two, or the option number two, because it's not the right time. It's not the right time for that to happen yet. It's kind of... God trying to prepare you to be 
that version of yourself that will that will have the power and the courage and the confidence to get what you were asking for. It's kind of your time did not come yet. What you need to be is to be patient until God gives you what you were asking for. But put in your mind that it's not because it delayed, it got denied. No, God knows better. But as I told you, there's two reasons for that. What we were asking, we did not get yet. First, maybe it's really bad for us. Second, maybe the right timing did not come yet. And you need to be patient. You need to master patience. Quote number three. Success is the result of good judgment. Good judgment is the result of experience. Experience is often the result of bad judgment. It's kind of backwards. When you make bad judgment, you kind of have an experience and it may be a bad experience or a good experience but for me any experience in life is good experience if we have the right mindset or the right mentality to get the lessons from those experiences so every experience you have is good for you even though you feel like no it was bad it hurt me but i bet you that this hurt made you stronger emotionally or mentally so bad judgment will give you experience and this experience will lead you to good judgment in the future and that good judgment will be based on that experience that you had it's kind of if you did bad judgment in specific thing then you will realize that if that happened if that situation happened to you again you will react in a specific way and that will be a good judgment because you made a good judgment that will lead you to success it's like if you want to succeed you need to go through a couple of levels before you achieve that success and that is first bad judgment and then you will get the experience of it and then you will make good judgments in the future and then you will hit that success button so don't be afraid of any bad judgment that you did because that will help you believe me to succeed that will help you to succeed Quote number four. You can choose what to believe about yourself. And these beliefs will determine the actions you take. That is so powerful. Imagine that if you told yourself every day that you're persistent. You have strong willpower. If you put your mind into something, you will do what it takes to get that thing. If you fed your brain every single day those thoughts, imagine how your actions will be so damn powerful. Because you believe in yourself. This quote is about to believe in yourself and to believe in what you can do and what you can achieve because you can if you believe in that so i want to tell you that to believe in yourself and to feed your brain and your mind positive thoughts every single day even though you messed up a couple of times it's okay because you learn from those things what really matters is Will you leave those negative thoughts about yourself to feed or to eat your energy? No, don't do that. If 
you didn't subscribe to this podcast, please do to get notified whenever I make new episodes. Make sure to share this episode with your friends to help spread the word. You can communicate with me on Instagram at mymustafa.fhth or you can communicate with me on Facebook. I will put those two links in the description. And now, let me know in the comment which quote that you loved the most. And until next time, peace.